check the cable ampacity or cable sizing calculation we have to add one cable in this network so here is the cable this one and with this I need to one add one motor okay let's define the rating of this motor first suppose this is uh, 75 kilowatt click OK and then cable so this cable suppose this cable length is 100 meter you can define in meter feet mile kilometer okay then go to library over here and suppose I need to select the cable size suppose this one uh, 1 kV voltage grid copper 50 Hz frequency 3 core 3 core, uh, 3 core XLV and size uh, arbitrarily maybe uh, suppose 120 this is the preliminary data I am giving so uh, later I will uh, size the calculation size the ampacity of this uh, cable using this software so click OK OK then uh, OK nothing else click OK now let's check the current passing through this cable up to the motor so let's uh, run the load flow analysis first run this load flow okay you can see uh, 142.3 ampere current it is drawing and this cable size we have preliminary we have considered this single core uh, sorry single run 3 core 120 so number of conductor 1 okay now go to this edit study case edit mode here uh, let's check here update whatever will uh, whatever will uh, mention will uh, get the cable size so it will update this cable load amp check this box so it will update automatically and this and this loading are not required okay just click ok over here and now double click this cable here you can see uh, for this cable to uh, go to loading uh, capacity okay go to standard I'm choosing IEEE 399 and here number of rows let's define as 2 and number of column 4 you can change any value you can put uh, any value as per the uh, as per your project layout requirement and user defined okay now okay click ok and let's run this load flow one once again again double click here Go to loading phase okay you can see this 142.3 ampere current this is passing through this cable operating load the current 142.3 so phase a b and c uh, this is balanced loading that's why these values are same 
for phase A, B and C. Here also operating current 142.3 ampere, power factor is 91.42 percent. Okay. Uh, here go to capacity. This is operating at 142.3 ampere. So number and here uh, info. So this is number of conductor one per phase. Now to size the opacity of this cable, go to this sizing phase tab over here. So click here. Then you can see here this loading is 142.3 ampere as per the requirement. So 142.3 ampere and here maximum voltage drop it is defined as 2%. Generally it is 2% in some projects if the requirement is 3% or any other values you can replace the value by that tone. And here this is the maximum uh, cable length. So in our case it is 100 meter. So here it can it can be used for 167.79 meter up to this length. This voltage drop criteria is fulfilling. Okay, number of conductor per phase is one. Here you can see we have selected single run three core 120. But as per the load requirement, if you see here under these results. You can see here of optimal size optimal size is single core 95 square mm this capacity is 156 ampere whereas the requirement is 142.3 ampere and the voltage drop is 1.46 percent whereas this maximum limit is 2 percent so it, yeah, so it is within this maximum voltage drop limit also and so this is the ETF uh, calculation. Uh, this is the result, and you can use also one size smaller. So ETF is recommending one one uh, size smaller cable also. This is single core, 70 square mm. Capacity is 130 ampere, but uh, here the load requirement is 142.3 ampere. So we should not select this one, and also the voltage drop almost 2% uh, because our voltage. Uh, drop maximum limit is 2% so here 1.99% so we should not select this one so let's select this cable size only click here select single core 95 square mm okay and now let's experiment a little bit here minimum number of conductor per phase if we change here instead of single if we put here as 2 you can see here the values are changed so if we use two conductors per phase two numbers per phase the size will be reduced to 35 square mm the capacity will be 185 ampere whereas our requirement is 142.3 ampere and voltage drop is also within the maximum limit which is two percent so we can select this one also but here we will select single single column uh, uh, this this one number of conductor per phase uh, one only so select this one and click OK if you click OK here you will see this cable size what uh, we selected preliminary it will be updated so click OK now you can see this is single run 3 core 95 square mm. Yeah, so now it's okay. So this single, uh, this is the optimum size uh, calculated by ETF software. We can use single run 3 core 95 square mm copper XLP cable for this 75 kilowatt motor which is running at 91.42% power factor from 415 volt bus.